Is there life on Mars? We may find out thanks to the help of robotic rovers and a helicopter exploring the red planet now. The rotating blades creating a loud noise overhead remind us that helicopters are the preferred form of transport for people who want to get somewhere locally in a hurry, such as celebrities, business tycoons, and TV traffic reporters. It's no surprise that helicopters might fill the skies of Mars before humans get around to building a system of roads there for vehicular traffic. That's because the planet will consist only of raw, rugged terrain before developers can start building colonies and cities, let alone construct military bases or tourist hotels. You will want to take to the sky for a direct path to wherever you want to visit on the red planet. Initially, helicopters will give future Martians more freedom than riding in rovers or Mars buggies. When you're exploring unfamiliar terrain like Mars, it makes sense to use orbiting satellites and flying machines such as helicopters to get a better view of the surface. Today, our only off-world experience consists of 12 people who landed on the moon during the Apollo missions of the 20th century. While human beings have not yet visited Mars in person, we have sent robotic emissaries there on our behalf. The machines move autonomously and by remote control via commands sent from mission control back on Earth. With these robots, scientists are studying the fourth planet from the sun for signs of past and current life. We also need to know what kind of resources exist on Mars for us to produce fuel, generate oxygen, construct buildings, and grow food. To that end, NASA landed the Perseverance rover on Mars in 2020. Its mission is to search for evidence of ancient life and to collect rock and regolith samples for a potential return back to Earth. And in 2021, for the first time ever, NASA began flying its Ingenuity helicopter over the Red Planet. The Perseverance rover itself recently captured video of this helicopter flying on August 3rd, 2023. During this 54th test flight, the Ingenuity helicopter flew up 16 feet, turned, and then landed back on the Martian soil. These roving and airborne vehicles work together so researchers can get a better understanding of the features and resources of Mars before humans arrive. One of the most interesting proposed projects that the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter are supporting is a Mars Sample Return Mission. A joint effort by NASA and the European Space Agency, the Mars Sample Return Mission would collect rocks, loose surface materials, and samples of gas, and then return them for analysis back on Earth. Scientists use the Ingenuity helicopter to identify from on high promising areas to investigate on the ground. They send the Perseverance rover to interesting locations to drill into the surface and obtain samples. The mission is ongoing. So far, Perseverance has collected 20 of the 38 samples that the mission calls for. 5% are samples of atmospheric gas, while 85% are rocks, and 10% are regolith, or loose soil. The rover has been dropping off the sample tubes at designated locations to be picked up later. Now, scientists say it's time to bring a piece of Mars back to Earth. NASA plans to launch its Mars Sample Return mission to reach orbit around the Red Planet in 2027. It would deliver samples back to Earth six years later, in 2033. Objectives of the Mars Sample Return mission include safeguarding the samples by protecting them from vibrations, magnetic fields, and high temperatures, and to avoid contamination. Geologists want to examine samples to reconstruct construct the formation of Mars so we can better understand the environment and the geological processes that formed it. Astrobiologists who study life in space will investigate the returned samples to see if there is fossilized evidence of life on the red planet, or if there are signs of life in samples of gas. 
the Martian samples will also help mission planners determine potential risks and benefits of landing humans at different locations as we figure out the best places to first visit Mars in person.